Hello and welcome back to Football Manager 2018. Job security, very insecure. It's not changed. It's not got better. I think actually, if anything, it's got worse. So on the dynamics, our managerial support is abysmal. And I think Mehdi Banasha is the reason. Basically, he's uh, finding it difficult to settle in the area. So I said to him, I'll give you some time off. Or I would have done if I was allowed to talk to him. I'll say this now, since the last episode, the last recording, there has been a patch. However, I don't know whether this issue that I'm seeing with the whole not being able to talk to people has been fixed. So, patch notes didn't say anything about it. So, yeah, I'm... who knows? Let's let's see how it goes. Since we last met, there's been two games, two nil-nil draws, nothing exciting, you didn't miss much. Let's get on to the Cagliari game. And, yeah, let, let's give it a give it a go, shall we? Cagliari's form is strong, ours is fair. Undefeated in seven now? Eight? Nine? I mean, is it nine? Are we undefeated in nine? Undefeated in eight in the league. Undefeated in, what's that, seven? Seven in all competitions. That's, yeah, that's going pretty well. If you take out that one, we're undefeated in a hell of a lot more. Although that's not how undefeated works, Stuart, so think about it. The starting lineup then for Cagliari versus Napoli is as follows in goal, Rui Patricio, back four of Gulam, Albiol, Maximovic and Heisaj, midfield trio of Allen because he wants to get some games. And I'm thinking if I give him some games, maybe that will cheer him up and that will get some of the players off my back. Jorginho is in there with Hamsik as well, left winger of Insigne, right winger of Kalajan and Borja Mayoral starts up front because, as we saw last episode, Domenico Berardi is injured for six days to three weeks. It's quite a wide variety of how mon- how long he's out for. I don't know. I suspect he's out for probably two weeks. Also, I mentioned Mehdi Benasha earlier. He has been given a leave of absence in an attempt to try and make him happy. However, it didn't help. And now he's he's gone for, I think he's gone until, I think it's a whole month. Yeah, he's gone for a whole month. So, yeah, that £12 million signing, we don't get to play until mid-March now. Now, for the games, I need to essentially put behind, or put put to one side the whole boardroom nonsense of me possibly getting sacked because the fans hate me. I just need to keep winning. Or not losing, I guess, is probably the better, better thing of what I'm doing at the moment. Team talk calmly. All the... they want... no. Um, but good run, impress me. That, well, jaw. Cagliari seems to be really well supported. Is is this something that's changed in the uh, in the patch? I don't know, but there's a hell of a lot more fans in this stand. Just notice Cagliari have Pavoletti up front. He's one of my players. So, as we know against Sampdoria, they like to score against us. And speaking of, he's on the ball coming forward. He's had a go from range. It was optimistic. Pavoletti is a player that I wanted to bring back. I tried to recall him in January, but I wasn't allowed to. And I like Pavoletti. I've actually signed him before. On the last one, and yeah, he's a good player. Free kick for Cagliari. Giancarini, oh no, Giancarini's mine as well, wasn't he? They're still coming for Cagliari. Pavoletti on the edge of the box. He's played out to Van der Veel. Kennedy. Is that the Chelsea one? Probably isn't. Giancarini through uh, Pavoletti. How did he, how, how did he miss that? First half is flying by. There's 10 minutes left. Linsigne's just picked up an injury. And he's gashed his upper leg, but it's going to be half time. Hold on, it's not quite half time. Insigne with the. We've scored. Jorginho, we've scored. Hold on, we've not only have we scored, we've scored from a corner. I know that was one of the things they actually fixed in the patch, was corners were better. So Insigne crosses it in. Jorginho on the volley makes it 1 0 in the 49th minute of the first half. Kalajan lost possession more than any other player on his team. Allen won the ball back, and we moved well in the final third. I think that's that's a decent summary there. Calmly, things are going well, but I know you're capable of better. Not, no, no response, as always. Hopefully, time just passes. A 1-0 victory against Cagliari right now. I'll take it. Insigne with a corner. Probably should have subbed him, actually. It's gone all the way to Jorginho, and Allen has put it in. Allen, the player who was demanding to get first-team football, is showing me why I should probably be giving it to him. Another corner from Insigne. Jorginho heads it down. Allen, first touch on the volley, makes it 2-0. 
and we've got immediately got a highlight straight away. Hopefully, we can tackle Giancarini and we can get back on the attack. Pavaletti plays it in the middle to the midfielders. We Oh, Hamsik, you legend. What was that? What was that? Hamsik's just smashed up the pitch and it's going to come straight back at us. Farias crosses in. Giancarini's at the back. He's hit the bar and Petruccio grabs the ball. They've done all of their subs at half time. I've just seen that. That's a bit weird. Free kick comes in. We're going to get it clear. Can we counter? Oh, yes, we can. Calajon. Calajon, he's got lots of Lazio. Not Lazio? Who are Lazio players? Napoli players trying to join in. But Cagliari have got it clear. Pavoletti now. Pavoletti's got options. Patricio with the save. I'm just trying to work out what whether that was Giancarini or not. And it wasn't. It was someone else. Corner for Cagliari. This is Giancarini. Alan heads it clear. Only as far as Pis Pisacane. Pisacane? Sure. Crossed it. Alan cleared once again. Out for a throw on. Another corner. It is never ending. Clear it again. Good lad. Insigne can get the ball. And the counter attack is on. And Calajon. Had, he's he's being forced out wide. He's He's got round his man. Calajon. Calajon smashed it over the bar. That was a sitter. That was an absolute sitter. Another highlight. Insigne this time. It's gone all the way over the top. And Cagliari are going to possibly counter. Farias. Lovely ball to Giancarini. I don't like the way it's... He's my player. He was offside. It doesn't matter. It's gone wide. Yes, it's a goal kick. 67 minutes on the clock. I'm going to do a sub. Martinez is going to come on for Mayoral because Mayoral's not doing so well. Allen on an 8. Jorginho on an 8.3. Look at that. Maybe they've changed something. Kennedy with a throw on for Cagliari. 70 minutes on the clock. Pavoletti back to Kennedy. Barella's had a go and Barella's put it in. It's 2-1. We can't keep a clean sheet to save our lives, but we're still winning. Insigne. That's that's a straight red card for Kennedy there. Insigne gets the ball and Kennedy just goes right through the back of him. Is he getting sent off? He is definitely getting sent off. Insigne still on the pitch, partially because he's playing so well. We do get a free kick. What's that little red thing on the floor? The free kick wasn't very good, but we're going to win the throw on. It's going to be a throw on. Ten minutes to go. Unas is on for Calajon. I'm tempted... Do I bring in... Sig no, let's not bring in Signe off. Let's go from... Not that one. That one to defensive. Let's see if we can hold out for the final 10 minutes. Gulam with the throw. Unas is there. Unas isn't going to get it. And Kragno in goal for Cagliari. Can he start an attack? He's gone for a long kick up field. Heisage gets the ball. Back to Maximovic. Maximovic... All the way back to Patricio. This is a bit worrying. We're just about to enter injury time. Patricio's long ball up the pitch. Hamsik, Jorginho. Back to Hamsik again. Insigne is there. He's got he's got some space if he needs him. Insigne runs past the little red dot on the floor. Martinez. Martinez to Adam Unas. And Unas has put it in. 3-1. We're scoring goals. We're actually scoring goals. We're in the 95th minute of 94. And that is probably going to be the end of the game. And it looks like a decent three points against a Cagliari side who are actually in very good form. Alan with the ball, who has done himself no harm whatsoever with his performance today. 3-1 victory in the end. Talk to the team passionately. Very nice. Well done. Assistant dry stuff. Good. Insigne is out for 5-12 to 12 days. So the injuries on this... I, I don't know if it is that because of my medical centre. I'm not quite sure because I guess I don't have a particularly great medical team. So it could be anywhere between 5 days and 12 days, which is quite a big a big difference, really. Although, down there, they say 5 to 7 days. 5 to 12 there, 5 to 7 there. Okay. Literally after every match, I'm checking this. So, job security, still insecure. Dynamics. Yeah, it's, it's, still, it's still abysmal. It's still abysmal and it's going down. It's time for the Europa League first knockout round. First leg was a nil-nil draw. But this time we are at home. So all we need is a goal. Just one solitary goal and we'll go through to the next round. Ah, this is a problem, isn't it? Great. <laughs> the lineup then for Napoli versus Partizan at San Paolo in the Europa League Knockout rounds in goal, Pepe Reina, back four of Gulam, Albiol, Maximovic and Heisage. 
midfield trio of Diwara, Jorginho and Allen has pushed up to be the Mazala today. Left winger of Adam Unas, right winger of Kalajan and striker Trequatista, Marek Hamšík. Because I have no strikers. None at all. On the bench, we've got a whole load of, of kids, basically. Shaper, the goalkeeper, Palmieri, uh, Gaetano, and Conte. They're, they're all kids. They're all actual children. In a way, I don't want to get through this. Because if I get knocked out, then half the players who aren't registered have nothing to complain about. Assertively, nothing but a win assistant can't do anything to fix it you know i mentioned before about the seat the seats the seats in the stadium they are pink they are actually pink if you look for pictures of san paulo stadium they're pink so yeah i guess they're probably more sun bleached than pink but they look pink 20 minutes in and nothing's happened we just got a little message up the top saying ham six being played out of position fully aware of it have no choice I don't know whether I've turned highlights off or anything, but literally nothing. Nothing happened at all in that first half. Team talk, let's be angry. You should be winning this. An assistant can do stuff. Look, that's the only time they actually care. 60 minutes played, nothing. Still nothing. Right, let's let's try and f fix some stuff. Strikers, who do we bring on? Palmieri for Hamsik. Is Palmieri any good? He's not the worst, I guess. He's a poacher. Right, let's make Palmieri as a poacher. Cool, let's try that. At least you're a striker. And yeah, let's go with that. Finally, we have a highlight. Palmieri is on the pitch. Allen with the ball. Jorginho. Jorginho running forward. He's still got Allen with him. He plays it over to Gulam instead. Gulam forward ball to Adam Unas, who's also kind of playing out of position. He's playing on the wrong side. And we've got a corner. Corner to be taken by Jorginho. Whips it in. It's cleared. And Kalajan is going to get the ball back. Jorginho would like it. Or I'd like it to go to Jorginho at least. Maximovic, Diawara. Fine. End there. Jorginho. He's been... He's just... Petter, what's his face? He's gone and got himself sent off. I think that was his second yellow card. He went straight through the back of him. Nothing's happening at all. We've had 11 shots. Five on target. Hold on. We've got a highlight. Jorginho with the free kick. Unas at the back. Smash the post. Tried to cross it in. Second attempt. And it is cleared. We're going to go to extra time here, aren't we? We are. We've gone to extra time. Passionately, it's time to dig in. Assistant, try some stuff. Right, Alan looks switched off. Let's not do it there. Let's do it on the, on the tactics thing. Alan can come off for Zielinski. Mallow can come on for Hysage as well. Partially, Hysage is booked. That's the only thing I'm worried about with him. We're going to go to a penalty shootout, aren't we? And my team's just going to crumble. Gulam with the throw. Long throw into the middle. Kalajan doesn't get there. Jorginho. Kalajan now plays it all the way back to Hugo. Ma no, to Maximovic. Can we build from the back? Maximovic is slowly walking. Finds Kalajan. Kalajan crosses it in. Please. Ciro Palmieri. He's only gone and done it in the 94th minute of injury time. Injury time? Extra time. Ciro Palmieri makes it 1-0. Another highlight, though. This time looks like it's going Partizan's way. Jankovic. Bear in mind, they're, they're down to 10 men. And Albiol's just gone straight through the middle of him. And I wouldn't be surprised if we're down to 10 men. Penalty, then, for Partizan Belgrade. 97th minute. Can I... I don't even want to look. I have to look. Commentary would be a bit weird otherwise. He's put it in the bottom corner. It's one all. And I don't think away goals work in extra time because that would be unfair on me because I didn't get an extra 15 or half an hour at their ground they've got 10 men how are we struggling with this Mallow with the throw on this is probably the end of the first half actually Palmieri crosses it in Zielinski's gone down and we've got a penalty Jorginho looks like he's stepping up to take it is silver goal a thing does anyone even remember silver goal that was when you were winning at half time right Jorginho is stepping up to take the penalty then. No pressure, buddy. No pressure whatsoever. He's put it in the bottom corner. It's 2-1. All of a sudden, this game has livened up in extra time. And there's a highlight immediately, which is a concern. I don't know, but this is, this is definitely a highlight, isn't it? Suma, he's gone. What is that? What is that? Gulan, back to Pepe Reina. Reina nearly, nearly cocks that up. Zielinski. 
to Adam Unas, who's going to play a long, long game today. And I think he's actually knackered. Unas gets tackled. Everton, Louise. Suma for Partizan. Tries to get it forward. Doesn't get further than Gulam. Zelinski finds Kalajon. Kalajon bringing the ball forward. Mallow gets involved. And Ciro Pal... I can't even say his name. Ciro Palmieri has only gone and scored it again. His second goal of the game makes it 3-1. We've still got 15 more minutes of this. For literally 180 minutes, zero goals were scored. And then 15 minutes, we get four goals. I don't... That's just weird. It's weird to me. Just start the second half. Palmieri back to Zielinski. Let's Let's try for nothing. No highlights. Just fly through, please. There is, what's it, two minutes left? That's uh, Nothing's happened at all. Zielinski with a free kick, 30 seconds left of the game. The goalkeeper grabs the ball, but it looks like we have made it through to the second round of the Europa League. And it wasn't convincing, was it? Mallow with the header, Jorginho in the middle of the pitch. Zielinski. Zielinski brings the ball forward. Mallow's there if he needs him. Diawara gets it all the way to Gulam. Gulam to Unas. And that is full-time at San Paolo. It is a 3-1 victory. Ciro Palmieri gets man of the match by the looks of it, even though he only played a few minutes. Passionately, very nice victory. Assistant doesn't do anything, which is good. We've received 445k, which is wonderful. Palmieri, he gets two goals. Was that his debut? It wasn't his debut because I brought him on in the first leg as well. But Palmieri has done well there. Tomorrow, we've got the draw. So we're going to go th through to the draw first. Have a quick check. Very insecure. Good. Still abysmal. Can't get any lower. So that's always always a plus. The draw then for the Europa League second knockout round. There are some big names in there. And I'm a little bit worried. I'd like to avoid AC Milan, Arsenal, uh, maybe Marseille. Uh, it's not It's not the worst. It's the Europa League. I'd like um, PAOK would be good. Well, we've done most of the draw. Um, it's Atalanta, Real San Sebastian, which is Real Sociedad, and Spartak Moscow. Atalanta gets Spartak Moscow, so we are playing Real Sociedad. Is, is, that, is that a winnable game? How are they doing? They're 10th in the Spanish First Division. I've actually got this league on, so I can see how well they're getting on. They're, they're doing as well as we are, really, aren't they? Well, that is going to do it then for this episode. Next episode, I'm going to try. I'm going to play Crotone by myself. I'm going to play the first leg of Real Sociedad. We'll probably then do Udinese and Real Sociedad, or maybe Real Sociedad and Lazio. Not sure yet. Basically, from now until the end of the season, I'm just going to play matches. And then if I get a news, news article of I might get sacked, I need to do X, Y, Z, then I'll probably have to show you that because if I get sacked I imagine you want to see it let's have a look at the happiness then shall we just before we go yeah most people seem a little bit annoyed still in the treatment club and playing time side of things I'm working on this one this is the one I'm working on the other two I can't fix because the conversation things broke anyway thank you very much for watching this episode of football manager 2018 if you did enjoy if you wouldn't mind leaving a like if you want to see more Hit the subscribe button and I will see you next time.